Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter and today's video is going to be another Zara haul. Hope you like the red lip. I haven't done red lip in like two years now. I haven't, I haven't done my makeup in a long time to be honest. I usually just go for like foundation, a little bit of contour and I'm just out the door. I feel like everyone's out of that makeup stage, you know like 2012, 15, everyone was doing their makeup. But I think now everyone's just going for the more natural, subtle look. Anyways, I got some beautiful pieces from Zara, so let's see how they look in person because sometimes, well, a lot of things nowadays are getting a lot more expensive, especially clothing, and we want to make sure that we buy things that are worth it, and sometimes Zara website can be really crazy, and I hope that I'm helpful, kind of showing you what a real body looks like in it, well, yeah, <laughs> I, it is real, I didn't have, didn't have to take surgery, <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get straight into the video. Just a word of caution, this is going to be a sexy haul because I got some sexy pieces. This is the first dress I saw on the website and I was like, wow, incredible, so, so nice. Um, now, I got this in size medium. I think the small wasn't available and I can't be asked to go in the store. The reason I do like these hauls is because I can't be asked to leave the house, so I'd rather just have it sent to me. Because if I leave the house, I spend more money, like food, food, all of that. So, I wore in a medium, and also because I wasn't sure if it would be too tight. So, the chest area is a little bit of a big side. Um, if I put some straps on, some, sorry, tape, I think it would be okay. But this could be smaller. The hip section and everything is good. This is, uh, I'll have to go and try a small. I am going away <laughs> again to Italy. So, if I find a Zara store there, since I won't. So as soon as I will be outside, I will try on this more and see if I prefer it. And then I'll keep the medium for now and then decide later on if I want to return it or because I bought this more. Because I love this dress. It's sexy. It's the little black dress. <laughs> so at the back it just has a nice zip. Really cute, small. It's just perfect. Like I feel it's a confidence booster dress. Like you just put it on and you just feel amazing. It is. 32, 33 pounds, it's not even too bad. Fabric wise, quality wise, pretty good. It's not see through. They have all these straps here though, which are quite annoying. I would just cut them off, personally. Um, boobage area wise, it's a medium, so it's a bit big on my chest. So, but I do feel like it's pretty okay. I think a small would fit much, much nicer. Yeah, I really like this dress. And the price is pretty good. I saw this dress on Instagram and this girl was wearing it and I said I have to have this dress, oh my gosh. And it is a very pretty dress, however it doesn't look as nice in person. I thought this would be satin and like really full. It's a little cheap, I don't know, Sorry. I thought this was like satin, like a really nice like ivory satin, like really full. It's a nice dress, but it's 50 quid, and I just don't think this is 50 pounds worth of style and design. This is my thing with Zara. So, so you know, as you guys know, a lot of influencers, we buy clothes and return them. Um, I think everyone kind of knows that. For me personally, as I said in other videos, I only want to keep items that I actually love and I know I'm going to be timeless because. I am thinking more about consumerism and like my wardrobe is really full <laughs> and I just don't want to be just buying like with no purpose, you know what I mean? Because I have dresses that I've never worn and it's just a bit sad when you think about the money that I spent and also, you know, just that what, are they, what am I going to do with the dresses, just keep them there or I don't want to throw them away. I do give to my little sister and charity um, but yeah, I'm just trying to stop consuming things that I don't need. So, well, yes, as I said before, the reason I do the hauls is because um, I just like leaving the house. I like the things to come to me. I love shopping and I love fashion. I love Zara as well. It's my favourite store. And I also think the website is weird. Because I look at an item on the website, then I see it somewhere with the on, or I see on myself, I'm like, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> so... I'm hoping that it helps you and I guess that's why you're watching and it's just fun. So I would personally say to wait for the summer sales 
it hasn't sold out yet which means that I think a lot of people have seen it in person and been like okay it's cute but it's not that amazing uh, that's my advice on most art pieces unless you love it and it you know it's gonna sell out quickly wait for some sales like this twice a year you know so you can get your things throughout the year and then have a mental image of what you actually want to buy don't just be buying like 50 pounds and then just wait it's in your wardrobe and a couple weeks later it's 25 you see what I mean? <laughs> so the dress is nice. I have a similar dress. The material for the black is really, really nice. Figure hugging. What size is this? Okay, it's a small. It feels a little bit big. Okay, it's 46 pounds. Still 53. As you can see, it's one shouldered. And I will just pair up probably black heels. And this would. I wanted this dress for Milan. I'm going to Milan. But I, I don't think it's Milan. You know. Because the Italian girls dress like this. And this is more like this. So although it's cute and I would wear it, like in the UK, <laughs> it's not Italy and it's not worth the money. We're going to wait for the summer sales. I'm happy to pay 25 at the most. 20 is really what I want to pay. 25 at the most. <laughs> but yeah. It's okay. And you put your arm in here as well. Just... FYI, I'm just show you the back as well. I'm just busy writing and not showing off the dress. Oh my god, this is to die for. It is so gorgeous. I love that the buttons are all different. Whoever designed that was incredible. Like, oh, it's so pretty. The fabric quality as well, really, really good. Like, it looks, it feels like it can last. Like, you can wear it, wash it a couple times, and it will. Uh, one thing I've started doing though, when I buy new things, and even with some of my older things, I wash them. So if I wear a dress out by hand, if I wear a dress out um, for dinner, I'll in the shower and I'm taking off my makeup, I'll just wash it by hand. Because I find the washing machine just ruins my clothes. Probably because the clothing quality is pretty shit, to be honest. I probably shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> the quality of the clothes is not as good as it was previously. You know, everyone's cost cutting, everyone's trying to make more profits and sell more items, so you know. But yeah, the washing machine does not like my clothes, so... Well, yeah, I just wash them by hand. And I think this is another piece that I probably would wash my hand, although it will give you muscles. Like, that's how I get my muscles. Not by going to the gym, by washing my clothes. <laughs> so I love this. However, girls, Zara... The pricing. Okay, okay. The pants are seventy nine pounds. Seventy nine pounds, and the top. I think it was like seventy pounds as well. Where is the tag? Oh, it's here. One second. Sixty nine ninety nine. So this fit is a lot of money. <laughs> Yes, I did it um, I love the style of it. It's gorgeous. It's me, you know, with really nice big um, gold earrings. Not the hoops, but like just like a, something like similar to this. <sighs> and I wear my trainers, probably my Air Force one, because they are quite long, the pants. But the money, I don't think I can justify the cost of the two, is of one outfit for that much. That can't really be worn all year round like it's a spring autumn outfit and it's an like very uh, ott outfit like it's not like you can just go to asda and wear it well you can you can there's nothing stopping you but most people probably wear this for dinner or you know on a holiday <laughs> in my honest truth i would wait for the sale it may not be there in the sale but i don't love this enough to spend the money and what I have found is that the sale in other countries is better than the UK. Maybe because all the UK girls want to shop at Zara. But when I was living in it in um, Greece, I used to get some really beautiful pieces. So I'm off to Italy, but it's the first week of June, so I don't think the sale is on. But I am in Prague for the first week of July. So I'll definitely be going to Zara to get some pieces in store whilst I'm in Europe, because that's where I find the goodies. So when you're on holiday, End of June, early July, going to a Zara store, I'm telling you, you'll find probably better pieces that you find in the UK. I used to do it online, 
but when I'm at Sheldon yeah, I'm gonna go in the stores. So yeah, this is it. As you can see, it's all shorter. It's so, so nice. And the pants are pretty good. Size small, size small over the tops. They are long. Um, I'm 5'3", and I would have to wear Air Forces, and even on my Air Forces, the bottom would get dirty. But I don't really mind. I just get some soap and then wash them, because the washing machine doesn't clean it. And yeah, the fabric is gorgeous. I would personally want to wear this. Oh, it's got pockets in um, Turkey because I want to go to Turkey for September or October. We'll see. I want to go where the hot air balloons are. It's so incredible with my mommy, of course, so she pays. <laughs> but if you know, I start working by then, then we can go half this. Is this dress? Um, I love the ombre effect and the color. I love that they chose the orange. I think it really brings out the design. It's an okay dress. It's not incredible. It's not amazing. You know, it's a nice dress. Again, I could see this like in the desert or as I said, Turkey. My holiday that I'll be hoping to go to go on soon. Um, I have one more bra, just for reference. Arms are super long, <laughs> as you can see, but you could just like wrap them up and you know, they're quite cute. Just covering up your hands. I'm in love with this. So, again, it's an item that if I saw it in the sale, I would purchase it, but for the full price, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think a lot of things from Zara are worth it these days, full price. I've been really struggling to say, justify, like, keeping anything, because the costs are really high, like, this dress is 50 quid, and, you know, right now I'm not working, I'm living with my savings, I have a very good amount of savings. Um, and I love not working, don't get me wrong, because I, I hate working, I hate it. I work for like six months straight, ugh, disgusting. Um, but now I'm just, you know, relaxed, chilling, and just living off my savings, save, uh, travelling. And I'm still able to like do things, shop and everything. But it, ha what I've loved about it, this period of my life, is it's taught me a lot about money management. And not just buying things, just to buy things. Because when I was working, I would just keep this stuff like, oh, it's cute, I can work in Turkey, you know. Um, but now, like, I have to think more about my money because it doesn't have, it has a limit. Like, when you're working, you always have another paycheck. But when you live with your savings, even if it's a large amount or a small amount, you have to, there's a limit and you have to be thinking, okay, you know, what am I buying, you know, <laughs> and budgeting. So, for something like this, again, the sale is coming. I feel like it's a month away, so... Struggling a lot to wait. That's a normal. Yeah, 50 quid for this. It's nice, but it's not 50 pounds. 5 pounds? <laughs> okay, maybe like 20 quid should be safe. But yeah, really, really cute. This will be gorgeous in Turkey. I hope I can pick this up in the summer sale um, with Zara because this would be lovely in Turkey. I am liking it more. Just not the 50 pounds. <laughs> Okay, Zara is deceiving the girls because the quality of the fabric is not there. Like, this looks so nice online and it looked like a nice thick material, but it, it feels like something that I would get from Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. Like, you know, that really, really fast fashion. This does not feel like a £33 dress. The quality, it looks great, but the fabric, it's so light. Oh my gosh, and it's short as well. Okay, I get, you know, it's body hugging, but I'm already quite short, so that, uh, unless you're someone who's not very curvy, if you're taller than me and I'm 5'3", this just wouldn't be very nice. The back is gorgeous, but it's not worth £33 at all, at all. I feel like the standard in Zara is getting, for most shops, is going down. It's so upsetting because the prices are the same <laughs> but the quality is going down this is not this is not it it's it will the thing about these dresses they look so good in, online especially on instagram like you see one of the influencers wearing and you'd be like oh yeah i want to buy this and you get it in person and you will notice that the fabric is very nice and some people will lie and you know the videos will say oh it's incredible fa fabric it's so nice but this is not nice this is cheap and this after a few washes especially in the washing machine will look horrible 
it has to be hand washed um, to survive and look decent. But this is not worth the money. Like five pounds, I will pay for this. Yeah. And then I got it in a size. Sorry, I didn't forget to say sizes. I got it in a size small. But you can always just comment and ask me. Okay, guys, is it me? Am I the crazy one? Because the Zara items and the Zara prices are not matching. I saw this and I was like, oh, this is quite cute. Summer week, weather to the beach, you know, in Greece. Really, really lovely. It has frills at the bottom. Let me pull up the skirt. Can you see? Like, the, the also be at the bottom. I'm sorry because my camera, I haven't got like a really good quality camera because I'm a cheap skate. <laughs> but this is £80. Yeah, maybe I'm I'm delusional because this does weighs eighty pounds. I don't see it. <sighs> but everyone's prices have been going up because I remember how sleep used the dresses used to be like a hundred pounds. Then I went recently; it was like one fifty, one forty. Whew! Inflation. <laughs> this is not worth eighty pounds. I thought it was going to be like 40, 45, 50 at most. So what's it going to be? The price in the sale. Oof. It's nice. It's not worth the money. I call it a size small. My honest opinion, if you actually like this and you want to wear this for holiday, look online, like pretty little thing, boohoo, like the alternatives. Because this is not even very nice. The crochet is very delicate. If you, you know, walking and something, you know, catches onto you, it can get ripped and make a hole very easily. The dress won't be looking nice. But don't know, waste your money on this, please. Unless you just get riches, because I don't, I don't see it. Wait for the sale. Wait, wait for the sale or buy it somewhere else. So I'm lip. My is on I hate that this video is kind of turned into a bashing of Zara. Um, and I hate to be negative, but the truth is so many people do Zara hauls, Zara videos, like everyone seems to love Zara. And it seems like people are always really positive and rave about the quality of Zara. And I don't want to be dishonest because in the day, I don't want someone to go and buy something with their hard earned money and wear it when it's not good quality. I know that part of the problem now is that we don't have a lot of quality shops. One of the best ones I would say is River Island. They actually do very nice things. But some of the times it can be a bit OTT. Um, but yeah, the stuff in Zara, the pricing and the quality is not matching. And another problem with Zara is the sizing. Because you buy something in a size small and it's perfect, and you buy something else in a size small and you can't zip it up. Cute little bodysuit. Looks like I need a size medium. Those are sell as well. I think it was fifteen pounds. Looks like the cell's slowly starting. <sighs> I'm just struggling to breathe in this. The cup is tiny. This would have been so cute in Italy. It's not wrong. Cause I have to return it. I have to wait, and then you're gonna buy another one. <sighs> and I got it in red too. <laughs> It was a horrible size, small, and it's okay. It says twenty five pounds here, but I'm pretty sure it's fifty nine nine. It was reduced. So, oh, the jeans are also from Zara as well. Let me show you the red, even though it's not gonna zip up. But I do like how you can adjust the strap, which I think is really really nice. If you've got more boobies, less boobies. Super weird because the red white one did not fit me, but the red one fits me perfectly. And it matches my red lips. <laughs> I like this. Really, really nice. Good thing they reduced the price, even though they could reduce it more <laughs> to $3.99. Um, it's $15.99. It's a size small, as like the other one. Yeah. Unless that was extra small. Let me check. No, that was small as well. The only thing I do need to adjust the straps. Uh, the quality is okay, it's not fabulous, like the only thing I will say, you have to be careful with these because this could definitely fall off, 
if I was wearing this, I would probably stitch it, to be honest. I would probably, yeah, I would stitch this so it's a bit more secure because it's a little flimsy. Ugh. But it's very cute. I love it. The colour is gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. This stuff is so cute. It's so, so perfect. Oh, it's so lovely. But £45, Zara. Relax. <laughs> I know that this fabric is um, more pricier. Especially to make as well. But it's not £45, Zara. We will wait for the sale, okay? This is a video. It's size small. So cute. I just turned it off. That was the end of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave me a comment if you just ask a question or just want to say hi. <laughs>